Once you've downloaded the Easy Interactive driver, the next step is installing it. Locate the downloaded driver installer on your computer. Mine happens to be sitting on my desktop. I can then double click on it to open it up. Next, I can double click on the Easy Interactive driver installer. In the installation dialog box that opens up, I can click Continue in the lower right corner. We then see the software license agreement. After reviewing it, we can click Continue and then click Agree to agree to the terms. We then see some startup options. We have the option to launch the Easy Interactive Driver at Startup. I'll click to check both of those boxes and then click Continue. Now we can choose the install location of the driver if we need to. Otherwise, we can just click Continue and then click Install to perform a standard installation of the driver. At this point, you may need to enter your computer's password to perform the installation. In the following dialog box, we can see that the installation was successful. We can click Close to close the installer. The driver is installed in the Applications folder by default. If you are wondering if the Easy Interactive driver has been installed on a computer that you will be using with your projector, you can always check the Applications folder and locate the installed driver there. It should be like mine, located in a folder called Easy Interactive Driver.